2013. For the first time in nearly 40 years, Indiana lawmakers did not approve a cost of living bonus for state retirees. State House reporter Kristen Eskow spoke with some of the Hoosiers affected. It makes a difference in how you plan, you know, how you, how you budget. Dan Sachs worked for the state of Indiana for 35 years and retired in 2008. Almost every year, he's received a $450 check from the state as a bonus to his pension, known as a 13th check. The average retiree making $9,600 a year, that's something they, they come to depend on it. Last year, lawmakers reduced that bonus to a monthly 1% cost of living adjustment, or COLA. This year, they didn't approve any additional funding for Indiana's more than 130,000 retirees. Disheartening, discouraging. We feel like that, you know, we had done, we'd worked hard. Senate Republicans also killed a bill that would have increased a tax deduction for federal retirees, a disappointment to Hoosiers like Callie Potts. Some of them have very minimal retirements. You know, they're, they're just struggling month to month to cover their basic living expenses as, as far as food and medicine. When asked about the change for state retirees at the end of session, Senate President Pro Tem Roderick Bray told reporters that lawmakers want to explore permanent reform to the COLA system. We had a little bit of money for a COLA, but it was about 0.4%, which really didn't feel like enough uh, significance to do. Jessica Love, who runs an advocacy organization for Indiana state retirees, believes the state has enough money to cover increased costs due to inflation. If retirees had gotten a COLA that matched Social Security's COLA, there would be no complaints, but they got zero. From the Indiana State House, I'm Kristen Eskow.